I'll give you a homework assignment, right? Okay. <laughs> You've got all these devices and there are personal profiles yeah. on your devices. I'd like you to change those profiles so that the first thing that you say about yourself is that you're an earthling. We know, statistically, every star has planets. There's a lot of potentially habitable real estate out there. We're asking where it is possible, has life arisen? I think an answer is really important. It tells us something amazing. We learn that it's possible for us to have a long future. And there's so many things right now which point in the other direction. Things are going bad and we haven't found solutions for them. So I think that knowing that someone else made it through this technological infancy that we're in, I think is motivating to help us try and figure out how we can do it. I think SETI, in effect, holds up a mirror to everybody on the planet and says, see, you, in that mirror, you're all the same when compared to something else out there. And so if it helps to trivialize the differences among humans, I think that's a really positive thing because the solutions to the challenges that we're facing are not going to be national. They're gonna to have to be global, right? These challenges do not respect national boundaries. We're gonna to have to really work globally to, to come up with answers. It's that kind of thinking, trying to make Earthling a meme, have it spread and have us think in those terms so that we can, in fact, find a way to a long future on this planet for all life. SETI just gives me an enormous opportunity to talk to people in their own terms and try and explain to them how in intimately connected we are with the cosmos. You know, and people are often really struck by the fact that the iron in their blood was cooked up inside a star that exploded billions of years ago. Although the cosmos seems so vast and the times are so long, that's where we came from. We are a very natural part of this universe. We should embrace that connectivity. And I can't help but think when I look at those stars that, that there's some kind of a creature on a planet around one of those stars that's looking back and seeing our sun as a star in their sky. Go out and look up at the sky on a clear night and just know that that's where you came from. You are connected to that cosmos. You are made of stardust and enjoy that experience and the awesomeness of that. I'm Dr. Jill Tarter and I'm Chasing Atlantis.